It's how to school. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about the GCXC tournament. I think um, it's gonna bring a lot of revenue to the city and to the school. Um, I think it's gonna bring a lot of fans because it's a multiple teams out. So come and support us at El Waters College. Now I'm gonna send you to my partner Antonio Gamble. This is Antonio Gamble, signed on with Inside the Scoop. Today I'll be talking to you about the GCAC tournament held here at the Elk Waters College. Uh, we'll be talking to you about the standings of the teams. I feel as if Dillard and Tougaloo have a good chance of winning uh, with the standings. They are both, men's and women's are ranked second and third with Tougaloo being second, Dillard being third. Uh, Dillard have a great chance because both men and women won the tournament last year, so Tukalu and Dillard will have a good fight and win the tournament this year. Hello, this is Nick Hundley. And Antonio Gamble. Signing on with Inside the Scoop. Today we're going to be talking about the GCA tournament. Um, Antonio, how do you feel about the e EWC hosting the tournament? Uh, I feel like it was a good thing for EWC to host the tournament and also for the city of Jacksonville because it brought money to Jacksonville. The schools needed places to stay, also these places to eat after the game. Uh, for EWC, it brought it brought the community out. Uh, we had a we had a good a good amount of attendance at the games, especially the championship games. But we had a lot of a lot of people come out from the community, come out just to see the teams play. Also, the teams brought they brought family members to the game. So it, teams traveled from Long. We had a couple teams from New Orleans. Uh, we had a team from Arkansas. We had teams from Great. This is as travel to come see their teams play. So I felt like it was good for EWC hosting the tournament. Yeah, now, um, Tony, did you get a chance to interview anybody or anything? Uh, yeah, like I went I went to a couple of the games and I got some good interviews with some of the players and also coaches on how they feel about the games, their wins or their losses. I interviewed both teams. So, and here are some of the interviews. Uh, hey, coach, how did you feel about today's game versus the Xavier? Uh, we played hard today. Both teams played well. Uh, they made uh, a lot more shots than we did, and we uh, turned the ball over a little bit too much to win tonight. Okay, what do you think y'all can have done better to get to uh, We just take care of the ball, uh, make, you know, basketball's a game of runs. We didn't make enough runs for us to win, and they did. Uh, we just could have shot the ball a lot better. So how do you feel about today's game? The game was great. We got the dub. We needed it. Got the dub we needed it. You know, let's bring the team a little closer so we can get the dub tomorrow. What do you think I need to work on for tomorrow's game? Uh, we need to, we need to stay in our sets. Get away from our sets too early. And go in a different world. But at the end of the game, we got together and we stayed in our sets. Well, hey, coach, how did you feel about today's game versus Russ? Uh, coming into the game, uh, we split on the season with them. They won at their place. We won at our place. We were very confident that we could do it. Uh, what do you think y'all can improve on for the next game? Uh, get to the free throw line more. Uh, telling our girls we uh, we beat them from uh, rebounds, but moving to the next game, just being more consistent on our shooting. All right, uh, how did you feel about the win versus Suno? Uh, I feel great. We needed to make it to the championship round. We've been an underdog all season. Uh, what do you think I need to work on for the championship game? We need to work on being disciplined and playing together as a team, executing our offense, getting the 50 50 ball, all the small things. Uh, how did you feel about the loss to E Dub? Uh, disappointed. Um, we didn't have a mind to win, but you know, um, I actually know Coach Summers, I was going to go play for him, so you know, I'm kind of happy for him, but you know, disappointed on this end. Uh, what did you think y'all could have done better to pull out the win? The little things, the little things count. Rebounding, um, staying mentally focused, you know, loose ball, you know, playing, staying, you know, staying tough, staying tough. All right, thank you, coach. Antonio, how, uh, what about the games? Like, how did you feel about the games? Uh, from the couple games that I did get to come out and see, uh, the games are pretty good. They had a lot of turnovers during the game. I seen a lot of turnovers, boys and girls games. I seen a lot of turnovers. Uh, the field goal percentage that I seen wasn't pretty good. They wasn't shooting as well as you would think that they would in the in the championship in the tournament in the GCSE yeah. tournament. Same here, same here. How do you feel about the games? I yeah, same here. A lot of missed free throws. Um, a lot of turnovers. Um, lack of effort for real, but. Some games they played pretty tough. 
They played pretty tough. They ain't give up. They played to the end. Um, that's about really it right there. Pretty good from the free throw line. Um, I think they, you know, fought up put like a good fight, but EWC EWC came short. Mm -hmm. How you feel about the um, girls game? Uh, EWC came short. It only came short by two points. Yeah, well, if you right. if you was to go look at the stats, the stats show the EWC outplayed Dillard, but right. Dillard they shot seventy five percent from the free throw line, yeah. fifteen from twenty. Bench points, they had 19 bench points and they had 15 steals. So with those stats, you could tell you could tell they kind of pulled away. The game was 64 to 62, so it was a close game. And this is the second time that Dillard and EWC have played in the championship 
back to back year. So it was a pretty good game, competitive, competitive game. game. It was a repeat of last year's championship game. So EWC, I know EWC was heartbroken because it's the second year they got beat by Dylan. Right. So it was a pretty, pretty fuck game, pretty, pretty tough game. Now we're going to be talking about the EWC best boys basketball game against Tougaloo. Um, EWC boys started off with a 10 point lead but couldn't keep it because the 16 turnovers and the 27 personal fouls. Like, that's, a, that's a lot of fouls and turnovers just in the first half yeah, of like, basketball. Man. That, that's a lot. That killed us. Like, that killed the game. But both played some tough, tough ball. Um, Tougaloo. Yeah. Shot 88.9 percent from the free throw line. That's pretty well. Yeah. Almost, almost 100 percent. Yeah, they they shooting good from the free throw line. Both were playing hard ball. Yeah. Um. The game, the game was really, the game was a really intense game. The game was crowded from from the jump. Like it was real crowded from the jump. The crowded, the most most people I don't seen in this gym. The most people I've seen at the time I've been here. The most people I've seen in this gym. Uh, Tougaloo had some outstanding players. They had three players in double digits. They had Tanzel Handy. He had thirty four points, twelve rebounds, and three assists. He had a double double in the championship game. That's that's yeah. big. That's playing big time ball right there in the championship yeah. game. Uh, they had uh, Stanley Williams. He had seventeen points. That's pretty good. And he had D. Michael uh, Sterling. He had twelve points. So they had three players. Double digits. That dominated. That the dominated game. the game. Yeah. That's almost that's almost sixty points just in just with them three players. But the sixteen turnovers, I think that would really, that, you know, it knocked what? off the bridge a little bit in the yeah. twenty-seven personal foul because one of our players on EWC fouled out with three minutes and twenty-six seconds of the game. You know, yeah. of the game that probably could twenty-seven fouls. That's. 27 personal fouls. That's a lot. Yeah, that's true. a lot. But that's what I think went wrong in the game when we got all them fouls. Yeah. And we had to, you know, substitute in and out like that. And then and with them, to... with us getting a lot of fouls, and then Tukulu come back and shooting 88% Same. from the yeah, free throw free line. Throw so that's, that's giving them three points. They're not right. missing. They had, a, they had two or three players that shot 100% from the free throw line. Uh, but I, I think either, like, like I said, I think EWC played some hard ball though. Like yeah. they had a lot of good, you know, good looks, good shots, you know, from the three point. Um, it just we fell short. Too, yeah, and too, I think this is the first hard. time in a while that a school boys and female team made it to the championship. All right. So that's that's a big accomplishment for us. He, he, and it was hosted at our school. So that's that's real big that yeah, we that's both a big come up for us. I big think. come up. It'll bring more recruits in, like definitely, it'll definitely you know, bring in more recruits. Yeah.